We now move on to our sixth speaker, P. Samuel Jakin Edward, who will now speak on the significance of blue LED in the modern world. Samuel Jakin Edward P. is a multifaceted grade 9 student, a passionate footballer, talented musician and creative artist. With a sharp analytical mind and a vibrant sense of humour, Samuel brings a refreshing perspective to every endeavour he undertakes. His talk combines wit and wisdom, exploring how creativity and curiosity can shape our understanding of the world and help us view challenges with clarity and optimism. Let's put our hands together for Samuel. Before we begin, let us all play a little game. Quickly, take a look around you. Done? What did you observe? Maybe your cell phone screen, these bright lights, the big screen behind me. What do you observe? Common from all of them. Light and color. A world that is bathed in color. Now imagine this, if you will. You wake up and sense that something is a bit off. The world has completely lost its blue. The ocean, a dull green soup. The sky, gone grey. Our screens, red and green pixels, gasping for life. Sounds a bit apocalyptic, right? Maybe exaggerated, but this was once our reality. You see, the year was 1993 and before. And the world was a completely different place especially when it came to lighting. Red LEDs have been around for a while, used in calculated displays and indicators. Green LEDs followed, opening up new possibilities. But there was a gap, a missing piece in this technological puzzle, the blue LED. For decades, it remained an elusive dream a scientific holy grail. Without it, we couldn't create white light from LEDs. We couldn't create full color displays either. We were stuck in a monochromatic world. But then came three brilliant minds. Isamu Akasaki, Hiroshi Amano, and Shuji Nakamura. And they did it. They invented the high brightness blue LED. And in doing so, they unlocked a revolution. A revolution that was so profound that it ended up winning them the 2014 Nobel Prize in Physics. But let's pause for a moment there and play a little thought experiment. What if they hadn't succeeded? What if they did not take that little extra effort? What if the blue LED was never invented? A world as we know it today would be fundamentally different. Hi, I'm Samuel J. here to take you through a journey into a world. A world where the blue LED simply does not exist. First, let's talk about the most obvious consequence, lighting. The warm and inviting glow of the white LED light that illuminates our homes, offices and streets is created by combining the blue LED with a yellow phosphor coating. Without it, this process is practically impossible. So we'd still largely be reliant on incandescent and fluorescent bulbs, which consume lots of electricity. So our bills through the roof. And our planet, not very happy, I guess. This might not sound like a huge deal, but just think about the implications. Incandescent bulbs, they are extremely inefficient, converting only a tiny fraction of electricity into light where most of it is simply wasted as heat. Although fluorescent bulbs on the other hand are more efficient, they contain mercury, which is a toxic heavy metal that poses a significant environmental hazard and disposed of improperly. The rise of LED lighting made possible by the blue LED has been a game changer. It's been a key part of our global push towards energy efficiency. You see, the International Energy Agency 
estimates that the global transition to LED lighting could save over a billion tons of CO2 emissions annually. That's more than the entire emissions of Germany. But the impact of the blue LED goes far beyond than just lighting our homes. Think about the screens we interact with every day. The smartphones in our hand, the laptops on our desks, the giant TVs in our living rooms, they are all built on the principles of LED technology. Red, green and blue LEDs, more commonly known as RGB lights, are combined together at varying intensities to produce white light and many millions of other colors. Without the blue component, our screens would be limited to primitive two-color displays. In other words, our screens would look dull, faded and frankly sad. Imagine watching a movie. Better be a nature documentary on a screen that can only show red and green. That experience would be surreal and deeply unsatisfying. Good luck seeing that blue ocean of yours. And imagine a world without high-speed data transmission. Believe it or not, the blue LED has played a crucial role there too. A technology called Li-Fi or Light Fidelity uses visible light communication to transmit data at extremely high speeds. In a world without the blue LED, this cutting edge technology would be a non-starter. And the rise of LED lighting made possible by the blue LED also gave birth to UV LEDs, which are key for things like cleaning water and killing germs. So it's not just about pretty lights, fast data transmission, or anything else. It's about staying safe and healthy too. So let's recap. A world without the blue LED would be darker and less energy efficient. Our digital lives would be visually impoverished and a whole new frontier of data communication would be closed off to us. It is a powerful testament to the impact of fundamental scientific research. It reminds us of how seemingly small and incremental discoveries can have ripple effects that can transform entire industries and reshape our daily lives. It shows how a person's persistence, a moment of courage to go a little further, can entirely change the world. The blue LED did not just light up our homes, but instead it lit up what sheer human dedication can truly achieve. So the next time you dream of inventing, creating, or simply making something better, remember this. Progress doesn't always come from giant leaps. Sometimes it may also start with a tiny spark of effort a single idea at the corner of your brain, refusing to fade away. Be that spark and light up your world. Thank you and have a nice day.